In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my OBS settings and my Premiere Pro render settings. And make sure to stick around to the end as well because at the end I'm going to show you guys how to do it for free as well. And the quality of the video is going to look exactly the same. So yeah, also according to YouTube, only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking this video, consider leaving a like, subscribe, and joining my Discord. It's free, and you can always undo any of these actions later. So yeah, enjoy the video. So first of all, I'm going to actually show you guys how to get OBS Studio since it's free. So hop on a new tab and just search OBS Studio. And then just click the first one, first link. And then just click, uh, just click this right here. This button right here is going to start downloading for you. And then yeah, OBS should um, start. Just follow the instructions, install it. And yeah, OBS will be there. Alrighty, so we are here in the desktop, as you can see. Yeah, this is my desktop. I just pretty much, yep. Now, uh, I'm currently recording with OBS. As you can see right here, it says stop recording. What you want to do first, obviously this is an OBS settings kind of a thing. I'm going to go into settings. Now, feel free to just copy all of this. This is really self-preference, but Really, the whole point of this, this right here, is really uh, that's based on if you use OBS to stream or not. And if you don't, then you can just pretty much disregard all of this. Like, just copy what I have over here. Like, yeah, it, it isn't really a big deal because, like, output audio and video is really where, like, the big things start to come in. So you can just pretty much disregard whatever is in general. Now, stream, like I said, this is really if you're using OBS to stream, which I don't. I use Streamlabs. So, again, disregard this. Now, output. This is the important part. So, when you first got OBS, like I said, this, you want to take note of what this is, the output mode. For for people who just installed OBS, it could be set to simple. What you want to do is change it to advanced and go to recording. And then, just need type standard. This one type, just leave it as standard. Recording path, just wherever you want to save your videos at. Generate file with name without space. I wouldn't click this, but it isn't really a big deal. And then uh, audio track, this is really self-preference. You can choose up to six, but if you are getting the stop recording bug where the recording refuses to just stop, then you might want to select one. I have two right now, which is all right, I'd say. And the encoder, you want to make sure it is NVIDIA NVEC H.264. What this means is, is that it's using your graphics card to encode the video, encode and decode the video. So make sure you have it as that. If you have an AMD graphics card, then it should be something else. I don't know what it is. If you have integrated graphics like an Intel processor graphics, then just select uh, X264. It should be an option. Rescale output, just leave it at whatever your monitor's uh, resolution is. Uh, custom mix mux or whatever this is, just don't look at that. Now, rate control. This is important. Uh, when you when you select this output mode to advance, it will be CBR for default. What you want to do is change it to CQP. And CQ level, you can experiment with this number. I choose 15 because I feel like 15 works just fine for me. Uh, this is really quality based, like it's just really um, more of a quality kind of thing. So yeah, I've seen people go up to 30. I've seen people go down to five. Just experiment with this. I found 15 to be the best number for me. Keyframe intervals, just leave it at zero. Just let it be auto. Preset, max quality. I always use max quality. Now, if your computer cannot handle max quality, change it to something like performance, max performance quality. Yeah, it doesn't have to be max quality. Profile, I would set it to high. Uh, look ahead, I would turn both of these two options off. Like, I would turn them off. I wouldn't use them. And GPU, I would uh, set it to zero as well as max B frames because, yeah, I don't really know what these two do, but I just disregard them because I don't really care about these two numbers. Now, audio, uh, sample rate, 48 kilohertz, really depends on what you want. Channels, make sure it's stereo, because if it's something else than that, you might get a double audio glitch, like what I did have before. So, yeah. And then, this is really, like, your microphone, your output, whatever, yeah. And then, just copy all these settings. This doesn't really matter that much, because I don't really stream with OBS. I only use it to record. Now, video, this is another important part. Um... Again, if you've just got OBS, this, you want to take note of this, fractional FPS value. When you just got OBS, it should be set as common. What you want to do is you want to click on it and just change it to fractional. And then numerator and denominator. If you don't know what all of this is, then just pretend, then just think of the fact that 
the numerator divided by denominator is equal to the amount of FPS you're gonna get. So 144 divided by one is 144. So you're gonna get 144 FPS. Now, disclaimer, you are gonna need a pretty good PC to record in like 144, 240, 360. You're gonna need a pretty good graphics card because the frames are gonna get blended in and it's gonna, yeah, like it just requires a lot of GPU usage. So take note of that. Yep, this is pretty much all you need to take note of. Hotkeys, self-preference. Again, if you don't use OBS to stream, disregard all this. I only put hotkeys for starting and stopping recordings, which, yeah, you can just copy them down or whatever. Advance, process priority, I set it to normal. Self-preference again. Now, uh, video, color space, I don't know, like this is just self-preference. Again, just copy all these settings. Click OK. And yeah, that's pretty much all the OBS settings. Feel free to just copy this as well, by the way, if you want to. Like, yeah. Uh, this is my audio. This is pretty much, yeah. All right, that's it with OBS. Let's head over to Premiere. All right, so now I do have Premiere over here ready. You want to click on New Project. And now, and you can just name this whatever you want. I'll just name this like uh, Test, 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 or whatever. Just name it whatever. Now, Video Rendering and Playback. You want to take note of this. This is very important because if for default it will be set to gpu acceleration now you might want to change it to software only because you might experience a lot of crashing with gpu acceleration i don't know why but like i feel like my gpu isn't strong enough to actually handle it even though it handles it just fine but change it to software only uh just whatever all this is just copy all these settings okay wait for it to load all right so now that you've actually got your premiere pro over here you're just just copy this layout like it doesn't really matter that much just copy it you want to import just a random video you got like let's say uh i got some random like thing like uh i don't know which one which one should i choose like this one i'd say yeah like and you just import it there and then you add some like weird transition or whatever just random cuts and then just delete them yeah just do whatever add some transitions or whatever like just this i, I don't even i don't even care dude just add that and once you're done you just click on save and then export media this is a very important part now i do have a preset for me which is main exporting and encoding and i'll show you a bit what my preset actually looks like now you don't want to click on this match sequence settings actually i haven't even showed the sequence settings yet um so you want to click on sequence sequence settings and you see time base is 60 frames a second this is really dependent on um what frame rate the video was recorded in so if it was recorded in 144 fps then you can choose 144 fps but this is 60 fps so it'll be at 60 and uh you want to turn this and this on although you are going to need a pretty good computer for it yeah you're just going to need this yeah and then just copy all these settings, video preview, just set it to iframe only MPEG. You don't want to set it to QuickTime. I know people set it to QuickTime, but you don't want to do that because it will affect the exporting process. And you just click OK. And yeah, like here's your video. It's going to just look like this. It's nothing too much, so I'd say. And then once that's done, you just click on export media and then format. Make sure it's H.264, by the way, not the Blu-ray version, because as you can see, it turns to M4V, which I don't know what that is, but just set it to H.264 because it's MP4, as you can see right here. And the preset, you want to scroll down. Just, just don't mind all of this. This is like this might be very confusing, but just scroll down and see YouTube 1080p Full HD. Just click on that, and just output name. Just set it to like this or whatever. Like no one really cares. And then um, you want to scroll down. I know this is very confusing. Make sure the performance, like this encoding settings, it's hardware encoding. Hardware. It makes it a lot faster. Uh, you don't want to mess with that, by the way. And then the bitrate settings is just pretty much, just don't change it. Just leave it to how YouTube has this one, this preset has did it. Now, you want to go down until you see use maximum render quality. You want to click this, even though it increases the encoding time. Like, I find it, like, it just improves a little bit of the, of, like, the quality. Make sure this is entire sequence, by the way, because you don't want it to be just, like, four seconds, right? Like, yeah, you, no one really wants that. And then, the last important thing is frame sampling. You want this to be frame blending, as that's how the motion blur kind of a thing. Yeah, like, that's how I create the motion blur effect in all my videos. It's just because of frame blending. But you want to make sure that the video you record in is anywhere 
above 120 fps if it's lower than that the frame then this motion blur technique might not work you can click export but wait before you click export i want to show you guys something i click on export it seems to export right but because this is legit just just like a video where nothing much happens like i don't have any big effects if i did have big effects the encoding might not even work at all that's like a problem with premiere so the next option i recommend you is to go to q press q here just cancel this first q which brings you to media encoder which is a lot easier i find it a lot more handy than premiere pro because premiere just just it's just glitchy man like like premiere just has a lot of problems i'm just saying but yeah if you're too lazy to just open two programs then you can just always like just always export it immediately just press export and then it'll export it for you and then yeah so yeah those are my premiere pro settings i hope you guys so yeah those were my premiere pro and obs settings i hope you guys enjoyed now disclaimer i know i've said this many times but you are going to need a pretty good computer for this to work because like a, a mid-end low-end pc should be good enough for you but just make sure that you have a pretty good graphics card for this yeah and this media encoder thing is still loading now um it really depends on what you choose, but personally, I would choose Media Encoder to actually export my videos because Premiere Pro is just kind of glitchy. But it really depends on what you choose. I'm going to cancel this because I don't need it. I just cancel the whole thing and just close it. Yeah, like we literally don't need it anymore. So yeah, those were my OBS settings and my Premiere Pro render settings. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them as well as finding a way to fix it. Any problems? Yeah, so thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.